Oh my god! Oh, a freaking donkey! All right, let's go, guys. Whew. What's up, guys? Good morning, and welcome back to Bandy Bank Fishing. Today we are on a brand new body of water. I have never fished this lake before, but I think today's fishing adventure is gonna be a pretty good one. So, guys, stay tuned and let's catch some fish. Let's go. All right, we got the first hole drilled. Let's see what's in store, guys. Let's see how deep we are. It's a beautiful day today, too. About 26 feet of water right here. Let's go ahead and tip our pinhead middle here. With some spikes, gross. Looks like it's gonna bite it. Just missed it. Ooh, right now, we just met up with some Hmong folks. Shout out to Carlos and the boys giving me a view. But we're checking on live scope right now. And we ain't getting none. It's been a cat and mouse game all day, but we got some beer here to relax our bodies while we try to catch these fish, guys. But we're not gonna we're not gonna give up yet, though. Woo. Well, folks, it looks like the first lake was a total bust. Now we are at a lake that we fished before in the fall for some largemouth bass, and here we are again, just trying to make something happen. So let's go. Ooh, it looks like there's fish down there, guys. Huh. I have a fish on. There's a bluegill. Not what we want, but <laughs> got a bluegill already. There's a lot of fish down there. Bluegill. 20 feet of water here. Nothing but bluegills. We're at a convenience store. We gotta get some juice. Good. You guys ice fish? Oh, dude. Oh, yeah. You guys been out to a lake? I have been on Garrison, have you? Oh, yeah. I have. I'm about to go there right after this. We just came back from That was trash. And then was that earlier in the morning, but that was trash, too. Yeah, I have been here. Before. Yeah, I channel or something yeah man nice what is it i'll check it out yeah dude let me um write it on something or you can just pull it yeah, up I can just pull it up all right so let me spell it out for you it might be easier that way all right b i n d e e yes bindi bang perfect yeah, that's me man nice i'll check that out for sure bro just comment just comment something down below be like yo it's the guys from the gas station all right <laughs> see you guys have a good day all right, folks, we finally got some juice in our body after skunking pretty bad. No crappies at Lake 1 and 2. We were going to go and target some smallmouth bass at the river, but... Oh, rock music! Whew, we, guys, we are at Lake number 3 right now. We have yet to catch any fish, but we did meet up with Derek, and soon John is going to be here as well, but... We are just looking to catch some fish. I will remain to be optimistic as we have not yet caught any fish where they are showing to the camera, but well, let's go. There was a lot more earlier though. Got him. Baby. Yeah, like, see like those marks? This is a little bit bigger. Feels like a little bigger fish. Fish on, man. Feels like a gill. Big fat gill. If I'm gonna catch nothing, I'd rather really catch big gills, man. Probably the biggest fish of the day. A freaking bluegill. See you, buddy. Feels like another gill. Way smaller this time. Ugh. See you, bruh. See ya, bro. Oh, got him. Mr. Hewitt's on. <laughs> Little gill. Are you using the 116 ounce size? I believe so. It's like the smaller one, right? Oh yeah, that's a small, small one. I got the little bigger one, but... Well, I was using what I was catching them on until... I got one pound test line on there. What? Yeah. I got three on this. Numero uno. Okay, so... It's a pretty big mark down there. Got him. Check that 
that out, folks. A freaking donkey. Finally, after all day, and the chest can't just die. So here's what we're doing, guys. We just have a silver tungsten. And we're just using one spike. I am running out, so. One at a time. Come on, crappies. Participate. Participate. It's coming up. Decent one. Big fish. Big fish. Bass? Are you a bass, bro? You're a bass! Come on, bass. Come on, don't be shy. Look what we got, guys. Our bass friend. See you, bro. There was like... 30, 40, 40 ones. Like big, big, big. Yeah, they're all like that. They're all chasing it. What's up? Happy? Ooh, that's a big one. Chunky. Chunky, and there's a whole bunch more. That's all the same. Mr. John's got a bass. Ooh. The bass are active right at the sunset. Oh, dude, that's a tank, dude. It's like a one, almost two pound. There goes our bass friends. They want to say hi now. A little large mouth. Hey, what's your biggest bass in seven Minnesota? Two. Huh? Seven two. Seven two? Seven two. Nice. That's a long way from seven two. Eat it. Got him. Got him. We're good. Yep. Nice. <laughs> oh yeah, boys. What's gotta happen? What's up? I think eventually, at some point, it's gotta like turn on. Just fire out. You know? Is that how it is? There he goes. Ah, yes. Nice. Dude, you were just talking about how it's gonna light up. It's gonna turn on. <laughs> oh, bro, you're smoking right now. Bro, you gotta just give us a high five on that, bro. Bam! Doubles. <laughs> you got a fish? Come on, let's go. Ooh, nice one. Feel big? Ooh. Good average. Nice, dude. Good average. That's a freaking tank, dude. Outside. <laughs> How's that even possible? Not even in the mouth. That's a good one. Yeah, a nice one too. What the heck? I had this guy oh, the yeah. entire time, bro. Like, I was just checking, like, why my minnow is. Like, how come I haven't caught any fish? And then, boom. There's a freaking fish down there. Another nice guy. Hell yeah. He's got it right, bro. Yeah, that's all fast. He literally just dropped it in. Got him. <laughs> oh, the dead stick. Dude, just smoking down the dead stick. Ah! Ooh, color. Nice crap, eh? Dude, I hate that, like, should I set or should I not, you know? This one time you just gotta just set it, bro. Ooh, right when I said that on cue, bro. <gasps> nice, dude. Right as you said it. Boom. That's actually one of the smaller ones. It is a little smaller, but. Compared to what we're catching. Been out here for quite some time. That's a big one. Dude, that's the biggest of the day, bro. That's like a freaking nice one, man. 
Nice one. All right, guys, it's the next morning now. We have 10 crappies. We are going to go to my mom's house and she is gonna show me how to cook some crappies steam styled, okay? Mong steam styled, okay? Last time when I uploaded my video, she was watching it and she called me and she was like, dude, you suck at cooking. So we're headed over to her house and she's gonna show me how to do it. Well guys, we finally made it to my parents' house and my little brother Ishii is going to be preparing the fish. He will be gutting and descaling them and my mom's going to help us cook the delicious mong steam crappies. Right now I'm just uh, cutting off the fins and just preparing it to, uh, for later. All right guys, so we just got done cutting the fish and preparing the fish, gutting it. Shout out to you, Ishii. Thank you for cleaning the fish. Fish, And sorry guys, if it's a little noisy, we got a lot of activity in the kitchen right now. We just got done marinating the fish using fish sauce and the other fish sauce. I will show you guys the video and stuff like that. We, we wanna make sure that we marinate the fish for about 30 minutes. And meanwhile, those 30 minutes are here going by, we will prepare the veggies. But yeah guys, as you guys can see, we are getting the veggies ready now. And I thought we were making steamed fish, but it looks like we are going to be making some boiled crappies again, okay? Crappie soup, okay? But this time, we are going to be doing a different recipe, okay? This is going to be different than what I showed you, showed you guys last time. This is going to be something completely different. So let me go ahead and continue with showing you guys how we're doing it today. Alright guys, so we got everything ready now, so let me go ahead and show you guys in detail of the ingredients. So, we got some tomatoes right here, we got some lemongrass wrapped in right here, we got some ginger, all cut up, peppers, lime leaves, shallots, and all this good stuff, okay? And over here, we got some cilantro right here, and some green onion that we will be adding later, but for now... Mom, then tell me what you want to Okay, gotta make sure guys. And we're just gonna go ahead and just put everything in the boiling water, all right? Let's go. It's hot. Ooh, yeah. And yeah, guys, you wanna make sure you only add these ingredients when the water is boiling, all right? We are now ready to add additional ingredients, okay? Unlike last time, we will be only using a very, very, very small touch of chicken flavoring, okay? And we will be using some salt too here, as you guys can see. Go ahead and add them now in. Boom. Boom, okay? Okay, guys. Well, let's go ahead and put the fish in, okay? She's behind the camera today. She's super funny. She's not really good at this, but she's doing a great job, guys. Okay, let's put our fish in, all right? We're gonna be extra fancy and use this. We're gonna use some of the smaller fish for now. Add them in there. Number four. All right, guys, so it's been about 10 minutes now, so the fish are looking pretty good now. Now, let's go ahead and add our greens, green onion and cilantro, all right, guys? There go. Okay, I'm gonna squeeze some lime in here, too. <laughs> and a good tip I got from my parents was, do not stir the pot, okay? Because that will break the fish meat, okay? And now we're gonna let it sit for maybe just a couple of minutes, and other than that, we are ready to try it. But let me actually just try it right now, see how it tastes. Ooh. That, that's good. We gotta, we gotta eat. I think we're about ready, guys. Check that out. It looks a lot more delicious than how I cooked it last time.
Try it. You try it. No, try the broth. Try the broth. Tell me what you think. Try the tomato, na. You get the tomato? Yeah. Mmm. Perfect. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and try some of this broth for real this time. Damn, that's delicious. <coughs> so good. Went down the wrong hole. Now let's go ahead and eat the meat again, guys. Really delicious. This is my favorite part of any type of fish, dude. I'm sure for you guys, too. Right here. Just break that apart. Right here. This is why guys are so crazy ice fishing for crappies. And so I am. All right, let's go, guys. Mmm. So, so good, guys. Awesome. Well, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's fishing episode. I had a ton of fun going out there, even though I spent like literally 12 hours on the ice. Like only three hours of it, I actually caught fish. Don't mind my daughter screaming over there, but hope you guys enjoyed the catch and cook. I had a lot of fun eating them. They're always fun eating fish. But other than that, guys, make sure to like the video if you enjoy the content. Comment something down below. We'll talk fishing and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I know half of you guys are not subscribed, but anyways, appreciate you guys all for watching, and I'll see you on the ice. Peace out. Can you stop recording me? I'm mad because I'm hungry. <laughs>